Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. You clicked on to the Long Range Weather Forecast discussion for September 22nd through October 6th. For, for September 22nd to the 26th, this is what we're forecasting here. We still have our um, trough in the west, ridging in the east, but the this trough will slide east as its ridge builds into the west coast. And this trough will also merge with um, this northern stream trough later in the period. And um, uh, as trough moves east, it'll intensify as uh, upper level energy feeds into it and intensifies it. So um, we will have a front pushing through the east. You can see it right here. Here's our front. And this is called showers and storms that can bring you some heavy rainfall to the central plains of the Ohio Valley. And then to the south, the front will bring um, rain to southern Florida. We have a front here across, um, I'm going to go uh, somewhere to show it a little bit better. All right, we will have a front across southern Florida that will bring some rain to the region. And the um, National Hurricane Center continues to monitor possible tropical development in the um, Gulf of Mexico, you can see it's starting to show up in the miles to the south right here. So that'll be later next week. Okay, we're going to look at the period now for September 27th to October 1st. And uh, we have a ridge that builds into the west and troughing in the east. And this is well agreed upon by the miles. You can see it's kind of flatter here. But as we look at the other models, like the um, GEFS has more of a deeper trough, but it's like a trough is in place and here in the east. So uh, for this forecast period, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm calling for above normal temperatures for much of this region here with anomalies near eight degrees or more above normal in the orange. And for precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation, much of this region here, probability of occurrence is up to 40%. Looking ahead for uh, October 2nd to the 6th, now we have a region in the west troughing in the east. The GFS remains to be the, the most amplified of the flow. A ridge builds further into Canada, and we have a deeper trough here in the east. So for this forecast period, I'm calling for above normal temperatures here with anomalies of up to 8 degrees above normal, mainly here, and below normal temperatures forecast for this region with anomalies of 2 to 4 degrees below normal. And for precipitation, little change is expected in the precipitation anomalies from the previous period. Okay, we're going to look at um, the current drought situation around the country. I'm going to go by section and in section here is the west and we have some um, extreme drought conditions in some of the areas some areas are also uh, moderate drought dry conditions here in parts of the west and then we're going to look at uh, the high plains we have some drought conditions here but and some drought conditions are starting to uh, develop in this region and we're going to go to um, this is the Midwest and we have some um, moderate or severely dry areas like where we grow in the corn some high uh, severe drought conditions here parts of Ohio and um, we're going to look at another uh, part of the country. This will be the southeast. It doesn't seem so bad since we have some tropical systems in here. And then we'll look at the northeast. And I don't think this has been updated yet because we've been um, dry, especially in this region here. Uh, I only recorded uh, a quarter of an inch of rain, as I said before. But we're going to look at another and look at observe um, precipitation 
that we have and what's what anomalies we have. Oh, this is not what I want. Let me see if I can um, bring it up. Oh, this is the same thing. Let me see if I can get a hold on a minute. Let me see if I can get this. I'm not going to spend much time with this. Um, I think they changed the sites. Um, all right, forget it. I'm not going to go through this. Okay, so um, that's what we're having. We're um, where we stand with the current drought conditions. But um, okay, that's it for today. For today, um, thanks for coming to Jim Only's World of Weather, and have a good day.